Alan Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Maybe Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. In the victory lap, Alan Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse, a young horse, out of her champion Flo. She has absolutely been unstoppable. Hello and welcome to <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Between Three Friends. This is <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's up, homies? Welcome back to my channel. We are in fabulous Las Vegas. It is day 467, Seven. at least. 467. Yeah, so we are super ready to go home. However, we wanted to get in here and just make a fun vlog for you guys. Um, this is gonna be a little game with my hubby and my besties of who knows this is me part better. Two. This is part two, sorry. When was our last one? Like three, three or four yeah. years ago. Yeah. Holy moly. But okay. this one is. Horse related. Oh, what? Uh, Cody, you got some fuzz on your nose? I'm not gonna let you play out like that on YouTube. There you go. So this one's horse related and um, some questions there are no right answers to and some things are kind of impossible. Okay, um, where did we leave off? Horse related questions. We are asking horse related questions, which are partial trick questions, no right answer, multiple answers. I don't expect anybody to get to actually get ahead here. Because a lot of these so kind of, no there, there may be, I, we're gonna it's let the audience sucks. choose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is that Cody has an unfair advantage because you know she does film all of the stuff and things. She is and the manager. Yeah, I was about to say she's and the she, she knows every birth date, every everything. So I had to make the questions unregistration paper. There's only like one or two that could she could potentially have. So. Are you guys ready? Play along at home because it's gonna be really fun. Um, I'm not feeling very confident lately. I listen, but there's because there's no right or wrong answers. Okay. okay. And this one I believe everyone will get maybe right. Alex maybe, maybe not. They're gonna lock their answers into their phones. What horse do I say is the best one I've ever trained? Obviously no. it's you not. Say, but you say that to me like every day about a different one. That's true. This is a trick question. It is a trick it's question. Not baby, baby it's not baby flow. That's no, well, obviously. Trained. Fully trained yourself, no help. No help. No, not a single. Not a single person stepped in. Well, I know which one you can eliminate out of that. Sure. Best horse I've ever trained. Recent. It's just the best horse I've ever trained in my lifetime. Hey, can you give us like a first half or back half of life? No. I can't. Like split it down the middle. Or you mean like in the 90s to... I got an answer. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She's trying to get the most information. Okay. Best horse I've ever trained. There should be a timer. <laughs> Anne's go got a laptop. <laughs> the reason that she has a laptop, by the way, is not to search, because you can't search these things on Google. Phone's on silent, please. Um, because we need additional audio. Yeah. Okay, answers, answers. Nefertiti. Answer? Chuck Taylor. Answer? I want Pearl Snap. The answer is Nefertiti. See, Nefertiti. I was going to eliminate them because them got problems. Yeah. I was going to be like, that's that, that, that a nice lady. You just have to get on her and then she's fine. She just can't cinch her up, can't tie her to the trailer. You can't look at her in the eye. I didn't, just <laughs> I didn't frighten her for any of that. No. <laughs> but. As around far as barrel. like around right. the barrels. That would have been a nice. Okay, this one I don't know that anybody's gonna get. Oh, okay. I had a black horse that was scared of literally everything. That's a hint to his name. He was scared of literally everything. I never clicked with him, even after he won thousands in the fraternities with other trainers in the 90s. I used him eventually as a grand entry horse at the NFR, but that's all that I clicked with him as. Literally a very expensive horse I didn't click with. Note to you, if you're not clicking with your horse, break up, find somebody that does. My dad always tells me when I sell my Colts, like I'm eventually gonna sell a world champion. 
and that's okay. I've got to be really happy for that person when they get that home. But this horse, I never 100% clicked with, and it's a horse that I think about all the time, all the time, all the time. He is on the go Dynasty World Tour. Yeah, he's on the Dynasty World Tour shirt. Okay. I don't think anybody can get it. Scared of everything. I only know like three of the horse names from that era. Okay, that's oh. true. That's true. He was black. He was like 16, two hands tall. I don't remember his name. And he had a big white face. I think I remember his name. Is he any, in, any on the barn at your dad's house? Nope. A plaque? Nope. Hey, okay. <laughs> the hey, name has to be right. It. Did I read it? No. You bought it. I bought it. Mm. I think he would have been born in like 91. Do you have any? Okay, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> no, that was Not my that guess one. too. Okay. What are your? They can't. No. Uh -huh. But I think that's how. I, I don't know. I, I have a really good answer. Okay. I don't think it's a dinosaur tour, and I feel like this is the one he borrowed to go to the park. Okay. I was gonna say, no, it's not, it's not Chicory Bug. It's not. It it's is? Chicory Bug! Ah! <laughs> we owned Chicory. That has okay. nothing to do with being scared of it. His I, name I, was I, Chicken Bug. Oh, okay. that's what we called nice. him, was Chicken Bug. Oh, yeah. Well, I talked about him like twice. You made it sound like his name would be like yes. scary or something. Okay. Or like We're Halloween related. Bars, so, and I have for that one, but I knew that wasn't Okay. How many times have I run in the Thomas and Max Center? Like, hold on. Like, wait, you mean runs like, down the alley? Okay. Well, I have mine locked in. Well, are you counting practices? Yeah, no. I was about to say. Okay. Not oh, counting okay. practices, because I can't remember every time, like, because I didn't go to a lot of the practices, so I don't remember. Is this exactly. kind of a trick answer. No. Okay. So but the reason that I'm asking this question is because a lot of people at home do not realize how hard it is to win around or how hard it is to get that pin down, or um, you know, a lot of the men's events so make it look a little easy. It's not a trick question. Okay. Okay, we locked in. Locked in. Everybody at once. Seventy. Seventy times, and I, yeah, I've only won pretty, two rounds. Probably a hundred practices. Yeah, probably a hundred. Yeah. That was too easy. I've only won oh. two rounds. Well, I see what she did. Seventy. Yeah. Well, you went. Yeah. You went fifty <laughs> rounds. Before winning a buckle. Yeah. Yeah, for winning one. And on the, you've placed, you've I've placed all, many, many, many times. Years, yeah. And won a whole lot of buckles in there, but not necessarily like the gold buckle. I've never won the average, but I have won second twice, I believe. Second twice. They um, need a reserve world champion average, at least. Yeah, reserve like a whole thing, because this is a huge accomplishment. Okay. This is another trick question. I think this color is genuinely bad luck. This color. You're not like that. And it's a trick question. It's a color maybe she doesn't buy with. It's a trick question. And it's for the audience. Okay. So it's not like yeah. the normal one? Nope, it's not a normal one. No, that's her thriving color. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is it? There is no color. I'm going to say green. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to say orange just to switch it up. There is no color. Because I think everybody. See, but yeah, you don't have us guess one then. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> it's a trick question. There isn't one. It's a trick question. No, there's no like. If yellow were such a bad luck color, why did they paint the buck and shoot yellow in the Thomas and Mac? Why is everything yellow in there? If they truly thought that. I was gonna say green because, like, everyone always equates that to money and stuff, and maybe that Which I think gives to them. Hard. Yeah. It's actually be. Corey just wandered around in green. That is true. Wait, I was gonna. Did y'all see him last yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did you see with his second rope? With the yeah. second rope. Did yes. you see how fast we saw he had his to, yeah. to make that choice? Yeah. And his horse, so good. He's incredible. I mean, he had to know. He's like, incredible, though. We were like that wasn't gonna catch. Because there was a guy with a second loop that, like, yeah. it took him thirty minutes to process that he didn't catch. And I mean, he was just do like, you know how fast thinking you have to be to make that choice to be like, nope. You roped him no, twice in eleven six. So yeah. nice, you roped twice. Him twice. Yeah. Nice. All right. What do I think is the best medicine for a recovering horse? <gasps> Overall. Yep. Mm. 
And this one, again, it's could be a trick, it's not could be medicine, trick and it right. could be multiple answers. Ready. Sunshine and dirt, baby. Rest. Being outside. All of that. <laughs> All of that. Sunshine and dirt. All of that. Okay. All right, everyone. And Alex has an unfair advantage in this one. Mm -hmm. Alex's title in so the horse easy. department of the ranch. What is Alex's That's easy. Easy. horse title? Or is oh, that's it? Easy. Yeah, I got it. You know, we got we got ranch dressing titles and ranchy titles. I got mine. Okay. Head freak giver. Head freak giver. Yeah, freak giver. Street distributor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you fancy, were, not fancy. fancy well, well, <laughs> I did it too. Ready? It was it in cursive. Okay, we're down to the final five. Why don't we sell Chuck Norris? Why is Chuck Norris not for sale? Am I to blame for this? Yes. <laughs> Got it. Because it's part of the dumbest thing is a nice boy. <laughs> no, it's not. It's because he takes treats cute. <laughs> it's mostly because he's too sweet. He's a nice boy. All correct. <laughs> and I taught him how to lick on demand. But the but the main answer was that he takes treats cute because mm -hmm. he licks when he takes the treats. Um, but the horse is the horse that has bit me the most. Falls under. He is a very nice boy. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's just so mouthy. And now he wins. So it's like, yeah. well. And we've had offers and I've said no. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Another trick question. Why doesn't Nephi ever give us any fillies? Go. Um, is this scientific? Just would genuinely like an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody's got anything we can do different? I got nothing. Should we hang this. pink balloons in her stall? She might be the one who gives you the studies. She I might be. You just don't know. I don't I know why she won't. You think so? Mm -hmm. You think Lux? I think to need a daily butt walk. <laughs> I have my answer locked in. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. You're I just <laughs> I love when she says locked in and whoops the computer. Yeah. <laughs> what is okay. It? Um, because of her anxiety, I think she runs a little hot. Or is that why I'm having a boy? Probably. <laughs> and then it probably burns off. The Jesse's way more chill. She has all fillies. Yeah. It burns off the girl. <laughs> hey, that's it could be it. It, it could be it. Is I'm off something like that. I don't know. I think it's because she just hasn't been statistically bred enough. As far as like giving up the baby, yeah, because she was a little tough for a while. Because she's tough. Oh, so, I don't know. Maybe that. I don't know. Okay. I think I feel she's like there's not going to be a winner to this. The boy. The boy. I don't know. I love that. I feel like I have you feel like what? I feel like my chicory bug really. Lost Your chicory bug was like a twenty-five yeah. point. Just good. Man. And they're gorgeous. They're and this morning good. I got videos of all of them. Yeah. And it was like I like this one and this one. Some of them they hit the ground. Weird. I know. But with hers, it doesn't matter. No. Hey. Talking about colts again. And you about horses. Satie's ready to go. Okay. What is my favorite color horse? Is this Got your it. question? You have so many. Got it. I mean, I have one that I prefer. Yeah. Okay. I feel this is like a trick question. Um, I, so, go I think there's oh, okay. a couple here. Oh, hey, okay. I know how to answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. Okay, so Jesse's answer was fast. There's an actual one though, right? There's both. There's three <laughs> answers. There's three answers. I'd say you're emotionally attached to red, but you probably like Roan. I like that. Um, uh, there's a couple. There's a weird one that you like though, right? Or is it not too weird? Not too weird. Because you do really like Cremellums. I do really like Cremellums. Okay, so I guess the answer Strawberry is... Strawberry Roan. So the answer is this. I'm drawn to horses that are Sorrel with Star that have perfect confirmation. I think everybody knows that. Sorrel with Star has always been my thing. We have a Shawnee Bug Leo that literally looks like the plainest colt you've ever seen in your life. His name is Baby Flow Baby and he's Sorrel with Star and he looks very homely, like sad. He looks sad, a little like Eeyore. <gasps> So the second question, the second answer to that question is literally, I don't care because just, these questions suck. 
you're gonna have to like okay. a couple off the dome to have it. You gotta oh, get ones with real answers okay. so I can win. But three. <laughs> but three. I've always wanted a black horse that would just like stick. I feel like Lux might be the closest. He's gonna be seal brown. Yeah. But he's like, I've always wanted, like, if you, if I'm shopping, when I spend a little bit too much money back in the day when I would buy horses, I would buy black ones, like Sly, yep. um, set, you know, you love a black love one. Love black. Something with Mulberry. Yeah, I love, I love that mare. Okay, so then my last question. Does this one have an answer? It's got a couple answers. What's- This is in the game. <laughs> This is just gossiping. <laughs> well, I thought that the vlog would like it. I thought it would like it because this, this. Do you guys like it? Comment below. Because <laughs> I don't, and I'm gonna comment. Okay, so yeah, because it's low key podcast. Okay. Find me in the comment section. What's the most triggering thing people can say to me at an appearance, or at a barrel race? Because there's two answers here, and the lesson is for at home. I'm ready. Okay. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? But you have another one that you know. I have another one. Okay. What is yours? Um, something about you winning. Yes. Or hoping that you won. Yes. Yeah. Like, can you run at this certain time so that I can hit in the two D, three D, four D, five D? Yes. That's the most triggering. So when people come up, one, I've had a brain injury. Two, we're meeting like two and three hundred people a day. Three, I am genuinely stressed about trying to remember enough faces because I, everybody that spends their time, money, energy to come see us somewhere, I would hate for them to feel in some way neglected or um, that- and they you do remember a ton of faces. I do remember a lot of people, but I, I feel really, it's really bad. how much you actually do remember because I meet a lot of people. And so I, I get very like, if you say, and then they, they'll go so far as like, do you remember me? Oh, um, What's my birthday? What's my dog's name? What's my grandma's name? Do you remember my horse's name? And you're just like, oh my god! And so I just start sweating profusely. Um, so anyway, that's very triggering. I know people don't mean any harm by it, so I like I'll get over it. But the other one is what Cody and Alex said, which is, can you? Hey, girl, good luck tonight. I just need you to be a 13-5 so my daughter can win the 3D. And you're just like, you don't realize like that people that are athletes. Like when I see people right now in Vegas cheering on their favorite barrel racer. A lot of people, like there was a lady when we were watching last night in the casino cheering on Haley Kinsel, and she was disappointed by Haley winning second because she doesn't understand enough about the sport to know that to place, to be at the NFR is a big deal, to place in a round is a really big deal, it's an even bigger deal and you're guaranteed nothing. So to win sixth in the round is just as big an accomplishment as it is to win the round. Fight me, whatever you, whatever you wanna say, getting a horse to that point and keeping them sound to round whatever it was last night is really, 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 really hard. And people will tell you they're disappointed. They'll be like, ah, oh, I thought you were gonna win it last night. And you're like, I won second yeah. at the NFR. And they'll be like, and show you genuine disappointment, thinking that they're relating to you on a level. But what's worse than a butt whooping is having somebody tell you they're disappointed with you. So. Hey, is this a TED talk or a game show? It's, a, uh, listen, you're to play. do you? <laughs> Hey, everybody in the comments of like, do the dance. Yeah. So that's our game for today. I hope you guys loved it. Alex freaking hated it. Um, this was not maybe a fun go, game. Think of one bonus question that can really settle this game. Yeah. They can settle this game. Yeah. You, I mean, no. everybody no. kind of got everything right, though. I'm always the winner. <laughs> um, a bonus question. A bonus question. A bonus question. Just play some music here. Like the Jeopardy bing, music. Bing, oh, bing, 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 bing. Neat, with like a nice little um, here by our game show. Is tonight round nine or ten? Uh, this goes up tonight, nine. so I can't have everybody. Okay. Um, what year did I win Rodeo Houston? 1997. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's not even a hard That's one. not even. <laughs> Roasted. There's a saddle of the trophy room with it on the side. Okay. You were 14. I wore yeah. a pair of pants. <laughs> oh, they gave you just said Rodeo Houston. Yes. <laughs> and there's other fun facts. 
about Rodeo Houston. The pants that I wore at Rodeo Houston created a buzz. So much that a famous country artist's wife requested them be personally remade for her. I hand delivered those jeans as well as a couple other designs. My first ever like parlay into getting to help design clothes with my contract with Wrangler in 1997. I delivered these jeans December of 1997 to this country singer's wife. George Strait. We're supposed to write it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was also an easy one. Boom. Okay. I mean, these are just cool fun facts. <laughs> yeah. And the pants were like silver pleather and my mom sold them at a garage sale because the inside of them ripped and now I really, I re I'm really sad. So like every time you see a closet clean out, there's something I probably will regret selling in my Your closet. Your mom was a hustler. She was a hustler. She made a hustler. hustler. Side hustler. I'm making a stallion. We got another hustler over here. Mm -hmm. One more question that has answers. I don't have one. Do you have a question? Well, that's, That's all, awesome. Flomies. We'll see you on the next what one. What is my child's name going to be? That is fine yeah. here first. Uh, all right, guys. I hope you love this. We're going to go have a very busy day in Vegas. As always, follow us on our Instagram stories. Our Instagram handles are bloop, 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 bloop. Maybe don't follow bloop. mine. I can. <laughs> I can add in the bloops. Okay. And yeah, like I think that's an bloop. easy thing to do. Bloop. And also, only follow... Alex, if you're a dude and into firearms, bloop, bloop. <laughs> you like working out tattoos and firearms? He's your man. All right. Let's do tiny mic interviews with animals. That's that is, that is your best. Those are that that does slap. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, please make sure to subscribe, ding the notification bell, and as always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink, drink your protein, protein, say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Thank you.